guys from around the country who've been texting in different questions that you that you want to know uh, about me uh, for one reason or another, I guess. So uh, they gave me a, a few sheets of your questions here. I'm going to do my best to give you the the most uh, smart ass answer that I possibly can, which I know is what you expect. So here we go, Blake. What's one thing you have to do before every show? Uh, if I had to narrow it down to one thing, that's a little bit tougher because I have a list of things that I do throughout the day. It's more of a full day worth of things that ramp me up. But the thing that's right before the show is uh, I would normally drink a full Bacardi and Sprite Zero cup about uh, that big because people expect me to be drinking. And it's a tough job, but somebody's got to do it. That's it before every show. I never sing in church. So I uh, was opening for Rascal Flats back in uh, 2005. And uh, it was an outdoor show somewhere in California. I know that. And it was kind of sprinkling a little bit. And they had this uh, thrust that went out beyond the stage. And I went to jump from the edge of the thrust through the main stage. And, and the stage was wet. And I slipped. And I did the splits. Uh, in front of about uh, 10,000 people. And I don't know if you can tell, but I'm not exactly the picture of health. And uh, it took me about five minutes to actually get back up. What would you be doing for a living if you hadn't got a record deal? Oh, man. I had all kinds of odd jobs uh, leading up to this, from uh, painting houses to roofing houses uh, to, uh, I was a songwriter for a living. Uh, I always thought when I was a kid I wanted to uh, be uh, involved in the wildlife somehow. And, uh, but now I know that uh, my destiny would have been uh, just straight ahead construction is what I would have ended up doing, and, which is good that it didn't work out because uh, I'm pretty sucky at, at that. But I roofed a few houses there for a couple of years and What's your favorite meal your mama cooks for you? Chicken and dumplings. That's easy. Would you ever go on Dancing with the Stars? Hell no. Have you considered doing a USO tour? I have considered it, uh, uh, but for whatever reason, timing doesn't work out, and, and uh, I've been approached a few times, and to be honest with you, uh, I don't do well flying that far away. They'd have to take a hammer and, and knock me out and get me on an airplane and get me over there. But I do have intentions of one day uh, getting over there and doing a USO tour somewhere. Uh, normally when I do things, it's right here at one of the uh, home forts in the United States. What are three things your pantry can't be without? Bacardi, Sprite Zero, and Orange Orbit. And I know those aren't exactly food items, but I can answer this crap however I want to. Who do you listen to in the car? Wow, that's a tough one. Uh, lately, I've been listening to my record just to be sure that uh, I don't want to make any last-minute changes. And now, doing this interview, it is too late. Uh, but uh, and normally, it's some country music from the 1980s, from Bellamy Brothers to Earl Thomas Conley, George Jones, Conway Twitty, all those guys, man. I, I seriously never get tired of it. How often do you and Miranda get together and go hunting? Who has killed the better trophy deer? Well, we go hunting quite a bit uh, together each year. We live, we both live in the middle of nowhere in Oklahoma, and uh, so we're constantly together when we're home. And if it's fall and I have time off, I'm going to go hunting every time. And she normally will go with me. Uh, so I'd say we go hunting together constantly. But who's killed the better deer since she's not here right now? You're damn well, I have. You're damn straight, I have. Blake, love your music, but why are you so rude on Twitter? Uh, well, I got, that's a... There's a couple of different answers for that. Uh, one of the reasons is a lot of the times I'm just trying to defend myself uh, for just being myself 
and it makes me mad and then I say something that I wish I hadn't said and the another reason is is I would say 75% of the time that I'm on Twitter I'm drunk so and that'll probably cause y'all to say something and then I'll be rude I love the song Hillbilly Bone what was it like to work with Trace Atkins man it's awesome to work with Trace uh, I don't know if anybody has had a chance to meet him out there but if you ever get a chance to, the guy is exactly the guy that you think he's going to be when you meet him. I mean, the guy that sits there in the Hillbilly Bone video that looks, you know, kind of grumpy, and he's a redneck, and he's kind of cocky. He's just a big old, huge country guy that uh, would give you the shirt off of his back uh, and do anything for you, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't cross Trace Atkins, ever. Who would you like to sing your next duo with? Uh, wow. Man, I'd still, I would still love to get in the studio one day with Earl Thomas Conley. Where do you suggest one begin to look for their hillbilly bone? Well, if you listen to the lyrics of the song, you know that it's deep inside. Uh, so I would, I would say somewhere somewhere in the rib cage area but on the inside uh, is where you'll find your hillbilly bone unless you're a you know redneck porn star then we all know where to find the hillbilly bone but anyway uh, thank you all for uh, sending in your questions and uh, Diane congratulations uh, we're gonna sign you a guitar and get it out there to you thank you all so much for sending in your questions go get Hillbilly Bone, the album Hillbilly Bone. It's in stores now, and I'll catch you next time. Thank you.